Hi, Carolyn Doobie here. This is the art journal page that I was writing up for a blog post and the instructions were, you know, pretty simple to do until I got to my tape flowers here. <laughs> and then it was so hard to explain in writing. I said, I'm just going to make a quick video to show people how to make those tape flowers rather than trying to write out these directions. And I tried some different directions and man, they didn't make any sense. So. So here are one of the tapes that I made using one of the techniques from my Transform Your Tape workshop. And the thing that I like about artist tape and being able to customize tapes is you get stuff to match what you want. So for the art journal page that I had, I wanted oranges and pinks, so I made it. So with this tape, because it's sticky, all you're going to do is you're going to squish it together and you're going to start just kind of pinching it together in the center and it'll make a little center spot and it, it sort of takes its shape it's kind of like making a ruffle except that it holds its shape <laughs> and you just kind of keep turning it on the center kind of push it down kind of wrinkle it up and because it's sticky on the back it's holding itself in place so I love making these kind of roses <laughs> my kind of flowers and then when you get to the middle you can either keep going and add some more height to your flower if you want to make it multi-layered and you keep going until you run out of and you keep just kind of pulling it around pushing it around and it kind of sticks to itself because it's sticky on the back and this gives me a two-layered flower now right here where the paper is kind of curling or the tape is you just push it down that way. So I can tell you right now that I don't like this big flap right there, so what I'm going to do is squish it around a little bit more. So I'm going to get that to twist in there. So at this point I have a little flower that I've made with the tape. The middle for me always ends up being somewhat of a mess, so I have a solution. My answer is cover it up. A pretty button, something sparkly, rhinestone gems, whatever you want. Or I just grab some glitter glue, put it on there, and now I have a center to that. If a part of it's not sticking very well, as this part just seems to keep popping up, the good news is, is this is glue, so I'm going to put it on the back side put it there and then kind of push it to the center and let that go there. The other thing that's nice about this is it's tape on the back so when I put this on into an art journal page whatever I'm going to stick it to canvas, ooh a tag, this would look great on a tag um, whenever I do something like that I may put a little bit of extra like tacky glue to hold it in place once it's dry, but the sticky part holds it in place beautifully. So that is how you make a quick rose or flower out of some decorative tape. 